It is certainly not as nice looking as it was on the other system. Let's say oh, the other one's still churning away. Um, well, that's certainly very curious. I wonder why that is. I also wonder why it didn't take me straight into tone mapping because that wasn't an option. Remember, on macOS, you have that as an option. Do you want to go straight to tone mapping or not? Here, it was not an option. Uh, but let's just let's take the exposure way up and then I'll bring the blacks down. My histogram doesn't appear to be updating either. Hmm. I wonder if we have some uh, little buggy experiences here because my histogram is not updating. Look, no matter what I do, I'm just going to like really screw up with the exposure here. Yeah, the histogram is not changing at all. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Hmm. Oh, wait, there, it just updated. Okay, so it's just taking its sweet time. Let's go back to the beginning of this, open that up, and let's just take the exposure up. I'm, I want to bring the exposure up so that my blacks are no longer clipping all the way at the bottom there. It's taking quite a while to update that, that uh, histogram. Now, I suppose we do have to point out, it is only fair to point out that this is a, what, two-year-old uh, iPad Pro. Clearly, at this point, we've got seven, seven raw files simultaneously being processed right now. I guess it's okay to, you know, the two-year-old iPad Pro isn't exactly running this in real time. So I guess that's, I guess we got to accept that, right? Uh, Peter Blake is saying you've had issues with Photos app crashing. We're talking about iOS 11 here. On import, eventually works, but can be frustrating. Okay, SR Digital says in respect to using older image files and long-term compatibility, have you ever thought of using Adobe's DNG file type? Is Affinity Photo able to import that file type? Um, I don't know if it imports DNGs. I think it does. I think I did something. Well, maybe not because there was a, Another viewer sent me a raw file from his DJI Mavic, which was a DNG. Affinity Photo wouldn't open it, but I don't know if that was a specific raw, specific to that DNG or if it was all DNGs. It's the only DNG I've ever tried to open on here. Now, in this regard, I don't work with DNGs, so tell me, tell me, SRO, uh, if you if you are on your Mac and you have a DNG file and you preview it. So you just select it, hit the space bar. Does it show that image or can you open that in the preview app and see it? Or does it show blank or you know something else? Because Affinity Photo on iOS is using iOS's raw decoder. So if iOS can decode a DNG file, then it should work. That particular Mavic file, it could not. But again, I don't know if there's something unique about the DNGs from DJI Kind of a bunch of acronyms here, or not? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, very quickly, right? So this is up here. Let's just bring this up. Looking at the Mac when you first opened it, that's what we got on first open. So that's my natural. Remember, we've got our presets there. We got these other presets we can click on. Um, but when we looked at natural to start, that's what we got. That is clearly not what we're getting over here on the iOS side. It's looking very different than that. And I've already brought the exposure way up, and I'm trying to get. The exposure past that so that the histogram is not quite so dark there, which I'm not getting it. I mean, if you look at this histogram here, um, zoom into this. Come on, zoom in. There we go. We're past black now, so that's good, but we have crazy, our midtones just look really, really bad. So let's take local contrast up. And it's like I need my mids to really go down. Let's try to pull the shadows down. See if I can get some black back into that. Not really. Hmm. The mids are definitely really hurting here. What if I and I know if I just bring the exposure down, it doesn't really quite cut it. Bring the brightness up. No, let's try bringing the exposure back up. Bring the black point down a bit. Wrong way. No, definitely don't want to screw with the black point. That's definitely not looking good. So we are clearly not getting. Uh, a same experience, which is quite interesting. Let's take our saturation up quite a bit. And really, at this point, I'm trying to get something very similar to what we had before. We're starting to get there. Okay, that's starting to look a little bit better. That's a little bit too much. Let's back that down. I still feel like I need something in the mids. And that local contrast is about the best thing going for it. Um, you can really see the difference there. But if I go too high, it takes on that HDR look that we don't like or that I don't You've like. just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member.
Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash members. <laughs>